The city of Cape Town says all but one of 14 vehicles impounded over the weekend were done so under the National Land Transport Act. Cape Town Safety and Security MMC J.P. Smith says Santaco is misleading its members. But the Taxi Association has hit back, saying it's been duped by authorities to call off its strike. ENCA's Nobesutu Hejala reports. Santaco in the Western Cape says it fully understands the provisions stated in the National Land Transport Act as well as what constitutes an impoundment. But believes the city of Cape Town turned on them hours after being promised that, apart from agreed terms of impoundable offences, their vehicles would not be taken off the road to give the task team more time to pave a way forward. The initial announcement was for the next 14 days, starting from Monday, they would not impound for others, but the three conditions in the National Land Transport Act, being operating road-based uh, transport without the valid permit, without a valid driver's license or PDP, and the roadworthiness of the vehicles. And that is the three things that Santaku agreed upon. What happened on Saturday was, if you want to believe them, they impounded vehicles outside of the scope of that three things. The Taxi Council says approaching the court to interdict the city is still on the table. We got the offer from government where the Premier invited us to meet and at that meeting exactly what we were, were going to seek from the courts were given to us. For that reason the interdict was paused. We said okay, there's no need for us to go to court now. After the happenings of this weekend, I must go confess that that option is not off the table. The city of Cape Town says it's untrue that it ignored the traffic act to impound vehicles at the weekend. Only one vehicle was impounded outside of those four things I listed now. Only one, and that was for the overload. With respect, there were more. There were four people or more, more than is allowed. So they shouldn't be bragging about it. They should be hanging their heads in shame for the fact that they had a vehicle on the road as responsible public transport operators with four more people than they are entitled to. You are affecting the handling of that vehicle. That vehicle's already packed to capacity under normal conditions with your maximum load. Smith says while Santaco did not attend Tuesday's task team meeting, both the province and the city agreed on provisions that minibus owners should be liable for any road traffic infringements by the driver. You have to be responsible if that driver, for instance, during the day becomes drunk. It is your responsibility not just in the morning when you give him the keys, uh, but at night when he, re uh, but at when he stops at the rank before he loads more passengers to come back, that you have a person at the rank, whether individually for yourself or as a collective, as an association, that checks the fitness and, uh, of that driver, as we have systems in place to ensure that our staff, our operational staff, are fit and, uh, and capable throughout the day. The city says it hopes that all stakeholders will reach an amicable solution for the benefit of commuters and other road users. It also says it welcomes any legal action taken by Santaco as this would help all parties to fully understand the National Land Transport Act in its entirety. Nobesutu Ejana, Cape Town.